okay so today we will discuss uh, another property of a regular language called as closure property of a regular language so in the last class what we have discussed is we have solved certain problems which uh, the problem was uh, to prove a language uh, to prove that a certain languages are not regular using pumping lemma okay now uh, one of the example which uh, I think I have solved is uh, L prove that the language L which is a to the power n b to the power n okay is not regular for n greater than equal to 0 is not regular using pumping lemma okay and we have proof we have proof proof by pumping lemma okay we have proved that through pumping lemma now let us try to look at another problem suppose the question is given prove that the language given by a to the power n c to the power n and b to the power n where n is greater than equal to 0 and m is greater than equal to 0 is not regular I have to prove that okay so how will I do it now there are two ways to solve this problem either we can apply the direct pumping lemma but in a uh, in the fashion that we have to assume a sufficiently long string we have to assume that this language is regular and accepted by a finite automata and apply whether for a given value of i is there if there exists a string which does not satisfy this pumping property okay another way to do this is to exploit another property of a regular language called as closure property okay what does this mean we have seen that regular languages and the regular expressions are interrelated that means if there exists a regular expression we can always create or generate the languages or the words which are regular in nature okay which can be accepted by a finite state automata so since the I can say that let me write it down so I can say that since regular expressions are closed under union concatenation intersection and clean closure closure this implies the regular language generated from the regular expression will also be closed under the follow ever operations okay so this means so this means let me write it down so suppose r1 is a regular expression and l of r1 is what the language generated by the regular expression r1 similarly r2 is another regular expression and l of r2 is the language generated by r2 okay so from the definition of regular expression what is the definition that r1 plus r2 will also be a regular expression so what is the language generated by r1 plus r2 is that l of r1 plus r2 and this is nothing but l of r1 union l of r2 okay now since it is a regular expression and the language so so this implies that l of r1 plus r2 will also be regular okay similarly l of r1 intersection l of r2 will also be regular okay similarly r1 star 
clean closure will also be regular. So these are the properties. So another property is regular languages are closed under complementation. Are closed under complementation. Okay, we'll discuss that. So let us try to solve this problem. So I have been given that the language L. So let us assume. So so let us assume that the language L is equal to which is a to the power n, c to the power m, b to the power n, such that n and m both are greater than or equal to zero is regular. Okay. Then suppose I make a intersection. So L intersection A star B star. What does this mean? <coughs> so so those words which are which does not contain any C, only A and B will be part of this language. Okay. So so this will be either A B or A two B two or A three B three. In other words, L intersection A star B star is will also be regular. By what? By closure property of I can say by closure property of regular languages. Closure property of a regular language over complementation. Okay? Over intersection, sorry. Intersection. So so if L L1 and L2 are two regular languages, then L1 intersection L2 has to be regular. Okay, so this is the closure property. Now, what is L intersection A star B star? I have seen that L intersection A star B star will be what? It will be A to the power N, B to the power N, such that N is greater than or equal to 0. Understood? Because A star B star contains only occurrences of A, B, A square, B square, A Q, B Q, and that should be intersect means we have to take the common words from a to the power n, c to the power m, b to the power n, and a star b star. And hence, the intersection will be a to the power n, b to the power n, where n is greater than or equal to 0. Now, in the last class, we have proved that through pumping lemma, but we have proved through pumping lemma, that a to the power n b to the power n is not regular hence our assumption is wrong and hence l is not regular okay so similarly you can you can prove various languages are not regular based on complement is closer property of a regular language under complementation this implies if l is a regular language this implies l bar which is a complement complementation of l is also regular okay so so suppose uh, uh, it's an exercise for you. So suppose L refined by A to the power 2N. Okay. That is even number of A's where N is greater than or equal to 0 is regular, is not regular. Okay. This you can prove through pumping lemma and it's an exercise for you. So if that is the case, then L bar which is nothing but A to the power 2N plus 1 for n greater than or equal to 0 is also not regular. Okay. Similarly, another question. So, 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 so all the words of A that contains odd number of A's is complement is, is a complement form of all the words that are even number of A's. 
okay and hence l bar is also not regular okay so there are two kinds of questions so if the question comes in the exam that prove that the language l as a is a to the power 2n plus 1 is not regular then, then either you can prove it through uh, pumping lemma or you can apply you can prove that a to the power 2n is not regular and then you can apply the closer property to prove that a to the power 2n plus 1 is also not regular okay okay thanks